Hello friends, welcome back to CCSP certified channel. My name is Ra and uh, I have 14 years of industry experience. I have recently cleared the CCSP exam and to clear the CCSP exam, the concept soundness, soundness of the concept is very important because they test the concept very in depth and this video lecture I am preparing the important topics and the complex uh, subjects those are not easy to understand and it will not only helpful for the CCSP exam all the IC square exams or even, even your day to day life of your jobs so previously I have covered the cryptography basic concepts and uh, around 3-4 questions come from the basic concept itself today onward I am going to cover the advanced topics and you can expect 5-6 to six questions so overall 10 questions from the cryptography itself so four you can assume from the basic and six from the advanced and i will do a quick recap then we'll go to the topic of the day and if you are new, new to the channel my request is to go and check my old videos on the cryptography first and i will start best soon for the complete uh, ccsp training so message me if you are interested for the same so as i have covered in the last lecture the three important aspects of the cryptography those are confidentiality integrity and non-repetition and i covered the i have covered them in the detail in my previous video that encryption helps in the confidentiality hashing algorithms helps in the integrity the digital signatures in the non-repudiation and uh, the, just a quick recap that i have we have seen that the symmetric key is simple faster and industry accepted algorithms even the German army used it in the World War II but the key distribution is a challenge and same time the non-repetition also. So the asymmetric key solved this problem by creating two different key set public and private key that we have seen in the last lecture. And just as a recap if Alice wants to send a message privately to Bob she can use Bob's public key as we have seen the encryption does not need a sender's key senders key play no role in the encryption the receiver's public key she can encrypt in the cipher text she can send and only bobs can access the private key and the cipher text can be decrypted with his key only so bob can uh, receive and decrypt it so alice can send it over uh, channel uh, insecure channel uh, because no one else can read it until and unless bob private key get compromised now we have seen the second concept the integrity or the message authenticity so there is a hashing function that, that does not need any key so along with the message uh, Alice can create a digest with the hash function the digest is always in the same size and she can send it along with the message Bob can decrypt the message and then can generate the hash again with the same algorithms and compare it it will give the message authenticity that it is not being changed over the wire the last concept is very important and it will be used again and again in this uh, lecture also this is the digital certificate or di sorry digital signature or the source authenticity so here the sender's private key play a role so alice use the digest that came as output from the hash, hash function and then use this and this private key encrypt it and send it to bob then bob use the public key of Alice and how Bob get the public key that will cover in this lecture but he access the public key of the Bob and then that validate the signature so that we will cover here so how Alice will get the access of the Bob's public key and how the Bob access the Alice public key that we will cover in this lecture and we have seen one man in middle attack also that uh, if, if, if Alice is using a public key assuming it's a Bob public key but someone may have modified it the message will lead to someone else so even though Bob Alice is following the right process it is not reaching to Bob and someone will be able to see the message so we will cover this in the public infrastructure so as we have seen the security of the uh, keys is very important and even it is most important and tried and tested in the CCSP exam the security of the keys so public keys are open publicly accessible and it is very hard to know that uh, if the key is correct 
and what is the purpose the key was being created so the public key infrastructure play a role here so public key sort of a governing body and that play a role of issue storing and revoking the certificate so there are three entity important entity for the public key infrastructure one is digital certificate one is ca certified certificate authority one is ra registration authority and these three are very important to understand the difference because these are being tried again and again in the exams that uh, what is ca what is ra what is digital certificate so ca normally are publicly publicly trusted authorities like very sign semantic and you have to pay the fees for them and you have to perform the identity proofing also identity proofing likes uh, you have to give your proof like your other card or your detail that before uh, issuing that certificate and it can be internal uh, certificate authority inside the organization that will issue the self signed certificates and uh, in the decentralized environment user generates own public private key pair and sends public key for issuing the digital certificate so public key only is required for the certificate to be issued because public key security is only we are taking care of the public key infrastructure side in centralized environment ca issues both public and private key in digital certificate we also known as x509 certificate that is a, the international standard used for digital certificate so it contains public key and some other important information and this finally being signed by ca so it is a digital signed by ca that we have seen here that uh, it, go, it gives a source authenticity so when a well known ca signed it it make it temper proof and also the over the communication uh, you can say it is give the assurance that the one whom you are communicating is the true one and uh, as we have seen that you user verify this uh, signed that is trusted signed by ca they know the public key they are using is legitimate so the main in middle attack can be reduced uh, by using that even though someone has sent the public key wrongly to you you can verify with the ca whether it is a right key or not and the what is the role ra play so ra is sort of middleman you can assume like a gas cylinder connection so gas uh, distributor company is uh, let's say reliance or the bharat petroleum but the, there are middlemen who 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 connect with the customers who collect their request so like certificate request who authenticate the user they will validate the documents similarly ra play that role it process the certificate request it authenticate the user identity proofing the revocations so but the very important and uh, testable in the exam that who issue the certificate is being asked again and again it is only the ca who can issue the certificate it's not the ra who can do that one and there is no necessary ra should be there if there is no ra ca can perform all this task so ca generate the certificate ca said that yeah we have, i have received the request i have verified it issue the certificate in case there is no ra ca will do all these things and there is a chain of trust there so there is always a root certificate authority that uh, that sign own certificate it can be a third party let we have seen very sign or can be uh, inside own com uh, company root ca so and there are subordinate cas are, uh, uh, below the root cas and they are being signed by the root ca so there will be again chain of the uh, hierarchy there will be subordinate ca below subordinate ca but there is a trust there so that subordinate ca is always trusted by trusted by root ca and root ca trust the subordinate ca so there is a breach trust also in case the subordinate ca trust the subordinate ca but uh, this is not a case normally we see in the industry the breach trust between subordinate cas the root to root trust this is special case in the single sign on when the root ca is being trusted by the other root ca so when i will cover the federation and single sign on i will see i will show the how the cross verified single sign on works so root to root trust between the two root ca and the one one simple example that when we hit a website that is on secure https or tls that i will cover in the next lecture the server send its digital certificate to the browser that this is my public key this is my certificate containing the public key the browser first uh, compare the issuer with the list of the root cas if matching forms good if not found then browser check whether the root ca signs the issuing uh, intermediates or subordinate ca then the chaining engine continue verifying this until they found the trusted root ca if there is no root ca found or if the certificate self signed 
the browser say that this it is not secure do you want to continue or not so they throw that warning so that browser uh, so the pki play a role that the root ca signed certificate is being verified at the browser level and i will cover the tls in the next uh, video lecture it will cover in the detail how tls play a role here and how the digital certificate play a role in the tls but uh, as of now the root ca and the chain of trust must, must be clear to you there is a pki flow diagram i am showing as of now now there is a last concept the rep certificate repository uh, it is sort of database that contain all the digital certificate and public key so where you will get the public key of bob and alice it is a certificate repository and uh, i am showing one diagram to you and as all the images here this one and the next these are being taken for the educational purpose and uh, ccsp certified china claims no copyright for them so let's say sender want uh, that digital certificate to be issued to them they reach to ra as uh, a uh, certificate uh, request are you verified it and if request is okay it asks ca to issue a public private key to the sender and a public key to the repository and repository also perform a verification task also then it send a signed data to recipient as i mentioned sign should happen from the own private key as i mentioned own private key you can sign only so it will send a signed data to the recipient recipient will go and check the verification authority about the validity of the signature if it is verified it will allow and uh, and uh, there are some questions i am showing here those are being asked in various ccsp exams so they will ask they may ask who issue issue the certificate or they may ask this type of questions what is true about the ca and ra so i will go in the reverse order so ra can issue certificate post direction of the ca this incorrect ra cannot the certificate issued by public certificate authority expired after a period of inactivity this is also incorrect the, uh, it will re remain active till its expiry there is no concept of inactive let's say uh, certificate is not issued by not used by 4 days 5 days it will not expire it will expire by its expiry date certificate issued by the public authorities cannot be removed it can be removed from the user browser <coughs> yeah, I, if i don't want to trust it anymore i can remove that certificate from my browser and the last one uh, that is a definition of ra that are in track with ca and issue the certificate take the responsibilities in between ca issue the certificate so this is how they, uh, they have framed this is the definition they have i have seen the exam question so uh, what i am trying to convey that ra ca and digital certificate at least if you are good in this concept if you know what role ra play what role ca play what is the digital certificate what it contain what is x509 certificate this is good enough to crack one or two questions those coming from the pki part and tls that use a digital certificate they would have more uh, questions and they will use digital certificate in detail so i hope you are now clear what is confidentiality integrity non repetition and digital signature and digital certificate and public infrastructure so this lecture will help you not only for ic square exams in your day to day job also so next lecture i will cover the tls thank you if you are interested to to uh, have a dedicated uh, classes from me please reach to me uh, over email or over comments and thank you like my channel subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video